Hi Sagittarius, how's it going? And welcome to your November general reading. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Sagittarius, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Sagittarius, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Sagittarius, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, how are you? Sagittarius, this is again your November general reading. And y'all know the drill. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck as your theme, water energy. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have a lot of options in front of you here. You have a lot of ways to go to go about something. Um, also with the Seven of Cups, I want to remind you that all the options that are coming in for you, maybe you're meeting new people. Some of you could be dating in work and career. This could be, hey, I'm looking at my options for a new job. There's a lot of options in whatever you have, but not all that glitters is gold. So just there's a little bit of a caution with the Seven of Cups of just don't just pick that first thing kind of vibe. Like look at all of your options is the vibe I'm picking up. Yeah, you have the Knave of Coins, the Page of Coins. A lot of you um, are trying to... Put yourself out there towards someone or towards an option here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, current energy, Sagittarius. We're doing a Celtic cross. You have the eight of cups. We started with the seven, and now we progress right into the eight with the three of wands. So there has been some delays around maybe moving on or moving forward. Eight of cups is where you're kind of recognizing emotionally in a situation at work, in a relationship, in an environment that you're in, that something there is not the 10 of cups. Something here is not my happy place, okay? Three of wands, there's been some delays on whatever this is. Temperance, this is your card, Sagittarius, okay? That you've been healing, you've been taking your time with this, okay? So there's been a desire. There's been, I'm hearing you've acknowledged that there's been a desire to move on. What's crossing Sagittarius? Karma, Wheel of Fortune, okay? Um, this is about, you know, rapid movement. Again, um, the wheel is a very fast moving energy, okay? Um, so it's almost the opposite of the Three of Wands. Whatever's been kind of holding you in a pattern or, hold, um, you know, I feel like where you've been maybe stuck or felt stuck in a situation, the Wheel of Fortune is once you make that decision, boom, everything changes. It's like, we're going to get that ball rolling. Boom, 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 boom. Everything lines up here. Three of Pentacles. This is where you'll get to build or rebuild in a situation. What's your focus? You go, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Spirit, what is Sagittarius' focus? That's why you have the Seven of Cups. There's a, there's a lot of things to focus on right now, right? You have a lot of things going on. <laughs> Spirit, what is Sagittarius' focus? My goodness, third try. Two of Swords. <laughs> You're indecisive right now, okay? Um, Three of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you don't really know what to do or you don't know where to go. Or you're having even a hard time looking at any options. Three of Swords because you're undergoing some kind of pain, heartbreak. It almost feels for some of you too, I'm picking up like maybe you've gone through a little bit of a breakup or separation in the past. And it's like maybe friends or whatever is like, get back out there, start dating again. And you're like, Two of Swords, you're like, I, I can't even look at anyone else right now. You know what I mean? Or that kind of vibe. Recent past, Sagittarius. 
hermit, Virgo energy, very pulled back, alone energy, um, uh, knight of cups, um, really on an emotional journey, exploring your own emotions, seeing what's really going on there with, with your, um, with your heart, you know, how, how you really doing the, the work I'm hearing dedicated. A lot of you really been dedicated to figuring out what's going on deep within, um, your soul, your heart, how you really feel about something, how you really feel about yourself. How do you really feel about your relationship? How do you really feel about your job? Like, re like really dive in deep meditation, praying, um, like lots of really getting into it. Very good. That's very, very good work. What's crowning Sagittarius, please. Page of coins. Uh, younger earth energy in the world card. You closing out a cycle here, okay? Three of pentacles. It feels like you're like, I hear you saying in your mind, I'm tired of trying. I'm tired of trying. I'm tired of trying. And or it feels like I'm yours telling me, Jacqueline, I'm tired of putting myself out there. I'm tired of putting myself out there towards the wrong people who don't appreciate me, don't value me, don't see me, that kind of vibe. You're tired of putting yourself out there so much, okay? But in your mind, the world card is significant. You know, you know up here, something's coming to a close so that something else can open. What's in the near future? Nice. Six of Pentacles, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. We see the two hands. There's a message coming in. This is equal exchange. So you getting um, maybe a bump in pay, um, equal give and take between you and something in work, you and something in regards to even romance for some of you. I love this. Okay. Seven of Swords. There might be, um, I'm hearing something's confidential. Something's confidential. You might, you might be aware of something or know something that other people can't know. You're the one that's trusted with it. Okay. What's your power, Sagittarius? What's your power? New beginning. Fire energy. You. Ace of Wands. Passion. New beginning. Um, sun card. Choosing to be happy. Freeing yourself. Um, wow. Your power is to, yeah. I'm hearing to strike. Like I see a, a like someone striking a match, like, you know, a lighter energy, like boom. Hey, phew, here I am. Like new beginning. Some of you for a smaller group of you, some of you, you're about to be the leader. I'm seeing like a baton. You're about to be the boss, the leader. Um, You've got a baton in your hand. You've got something in your hand. You're the leader. Um, some of you, a, a group of you too, could be like in politics and you're about to get like a higher platform here. Interesting. What's hidden from you? Two of pentacles. Someone's wishy-washy. Ace of swords. Someone knows their truth, but they're wishy-washy. Someone's, uh, I'm hearing, spun their karma with you. Someone took a chance and tried to, yeah. Two of Pentacles is someone doesn't, there's scales and then like a moon and wheel of fortune here. So someone doesn't know in regards to you whether to do the right thing about you or to spin the wheel to take a chance with you. What are your hopes and fears? Seven of Swords, more lies, betrayal, people not telling the truth, you not telling your truth, Six of Wands, um, people getting away with things they shouldn't be getting away with. That's what you don't want. Outcome, Sagittarius, what's the outcome? Moon card, so maybe you could be dealing with a Pisces or Cancer in the future. Lots of deep emotions, Seven of Pentacles. You're going to establish a plan. Um, Queen of Wands, you, full card, Seven of Cups. So you are going to pick a cup. You have an option here. 
Um, you're making lots of plans. This is a new beginning, Queen of Wands, you, Seven of Pentacles, where you're in a new energy, a new job, new location, new relationship, new life, new something. And Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, you're like, I feel good in this new energy. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to plant this seed, this seed, this seed, this seed. You're making room to grow in whatever this new life is for you. Moon card, also with the Seven of Swords, and this came up earlier, for a group, good group of you, there's something going on where it's better that other people don't know for now kind of energy. Um, moon card is the outcome is something is kind of emotional, but also very secretive. Okay, so you and something could be keeping a secret, um, something like that, but it doesn't feel bad. Like, for example, we would keep a secret from everybody if we knew we were pregnant. We don't tell people we're pregnant for the first trimester. That's a very normal, common practice, for example, right? Because a lot of anything could happen in that first trimester, for example. So for a lot of you, there's something that's going on. I'm not saying all of you are having a baby, but what I'm saying is there's something for a lot of you where... Um, it's like, Hey, this is still, this is something still ruminating, something's still getting going. And it's best if just everyone doesn't know just yet. Okay. That could be you and someone working something out. Um, there could be, for some of you, you are the one trusted with a secret, um, a secret message, secret code, password, energy, woo, um, something like that for some of you. Someone wants to take a chance on you and they've been a little bit wishy-washy here, but in the future, it does look like a very healthy, even balanced balanced exchange your power ace of wands all aces to me are yes cards so for a lot of you i'm not telling you what to do but your power here is yes turn on that flame and get it rolling um, in your mind you know that something is over with a cycle's over with so you're going to close that down to start up something new in regards to this healthy um, balanced exchange in a situation um, you're kind of, you don't really know what to focus on because there is so much going on with mystery, um, and secrets in this situation. Um, karma is definitely at play with the wheel crossing you, um, whatever decision you make. And I feel like that's why for a lot of you, you've taken your time in this situation because it has everything to do with your karma. You wouldn't want to cross anyone in a situation because you understand karma. Those of you that I'm connecting with understand karma and no better than to say something like, karma's a bitch. We don't say that anymore, okay? Karma's husband is called Saturn and he will come get your ass, okay? So what I'm trying to say for a lot of you is like you've learned karmic lessons and instead of like putting ill will or Ill, Ill intention out there towards someone, like for example, someone, you know, cuts you off in traffic, Fuck you, my man, getting all wild and crazy. Sure. Is that person an idiot? Sure. Is that person maybe could have caused a wreck? Definitely they're an idiot. But karma is about let them go. Okay, no one was hurt, you know, love and light. Let's hope to not, they don't do that again. Because that way you're letting that person deal with their karma. Because as soon as you say, F them. I hope they get in a wreck later. I hope, but, but, but when you wish ill will on someone else, the universe cancel, clears, delete all the karma that was supposed to come to that person because of that specific event. I don't know why we're going deep into this, but for a lot of you, that's what's going on. You're learning karma. You're learning um, how to not put ill will or ill intention on other people. I've had to do that myself. I'm not here to like you know, yell at you about it. But this is like, I'm anything that like I'm teaching you about, Jacqueline's done herself, okay? So don't think that I haven't had to go through these things myself. I don't wish ill will on anyone else. When people screw this girl over, I go, sending you love. And then <laughs> like magic, they have to deal with their karma and then I'm cleared. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't say like, well, you fucked me over. I'm gonna fuck you back over. We don't do that anymore. That's an old story. That's an old thing. That's an old way. That's dark energy. It's control and it's nasty. Okay. We don't do that anymore. For a lot of you, you've realized uh, you're in a situation where I'm hearing, I must leave. I must go. You've identified that you're not happy, but you're being very, very careful on what next steps you take because you know, it's going to mess with your karma.
let's go deeper. <laughs> oh my God, eight of cups, three of wands. You have definitely, again, identified that you're not in your happiest emotional state. Three of wands. You've taken your time on this. Um, it's because I don't think you know where to go. Queen of Wands, Sun card, Judgment. You've definitely made a decision to empower yourself. You definitely have the sun on your back and you have a lot of power. You have a lot of confidence, okay? Or you're building your confidence. All right, clarifying this Eight of Cups, Five of Cups, King of Cups. A lot of you are dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and or this is definitely signifying a connection or relationship. Um, a lot of you are just not happy in a relationship, okay? Ace of Pentacles. There could be good, like, financial support in a relationship, but the emotional part, you're like, meh. Six of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely a desire for you to want to get out of where, whatever you're in right now. Ten of Swords. You're done. You're over it. You're not feeling it. Um, and what's the delay about? So again, that's definitely identifying for a lot of you King of Cups, representing a relationship, a connection where you've held space for a person or in a situation. But Five of Cups, you're really not happy about it. What's the delay? Six of Pentacles. It's about money, lovers, energy. Yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like you're in some kind of partnership or relationship because, you know, maybe y'all, you know, finances here, y'all take care of each other, y'all split the bills or something like that. But emotionally, mm, the boat's rocking, boat's rocking, okay? Car this is, oh, that has everything to do with karma. Now I understand. So let's look at their crossing energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Swords with the full card. A lot of you are lying to yourself that you want a new beginning. You're like, oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm happy. I'm happy here, I'm good. I swear I'm good, I'm feeling great. No, you're not. You're like, I want to do anything but this. I want to be anywhere in the world but right here. I want to be traveling, out there, partying, da 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 Y'all are my party kids, y'all know this. Um... Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're super over where, wherever it is that you're at in your situation. And, and now it's so bad that you're lying that you're happy. It's so bad that you've con convinced everyone else and almost yourself that you're happy, but you're not. Did you hear that? That was the mailman, by the way, or male woman. Um, dropping off a lot of mail, and that was a very loud noise confirmation. What's this Wheel of Fortune? Why is this crossing Sagittarius? Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles. I'm picking up a little bit of an energy of like you're kind of fantasizing or hoping that someone will come save you. But loves, no one's coming to save you. You got to save yourself. Got to save yourself. Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups. This is about you saving yourself. No one's going to poof like, like appear out of thin air to come I don't know save you in this situation because that's what a lot of you I heard save me I want someone to save me from this save me did someone else put you in this situation or did you allow for this situation to happen it's called karma two of swords this is your focus Remember we had a hard time figuring out what the focus was? I get it because there's so much going on. You're like, I don't even know where to start. I get that. You're overwhelmed, right? You're overwhelmed with this, with especially emotion-wise. And that's where it can get tricky, right? Um, so I understand. I get it. You're overwhelmed with the situation. So you're like, Jacqueline, I don't even know where to start. I get it. Eight of Wands, like, I don't even know what to say. I know I need to talk to them. I know I need to talk about this. Talk to someone. Justice. You're, you're saying, I want to do the right thing. This is the other karma card, justice, Libra energy. 
six of wands. You're like, I want to do the right thing. I just don't know how at this point. Why is the two of swords here for Sagittarius, four of cups, tower? You know, if you, you, you know that if you stay in this job, relationship, location, situation, group, whatever this is for you, you know that if you stay, you're going to continue to stay bored. Tower energy. It's going to, it's just going to continue to cause a storm within you, within your emotions. Page of Swords in the recent past, Hermit, Two of Cups. If you've pulled away from someone, they've definitely been keeping an eye on you and vice versa. Two of Swords. Someone's been trying to make a decision. Two of Pentacles in your hidden energy. This is the outside energy for a lot of you. Mm, that's way too many, Spirit, but thank you. Um, why is the Hermit here for Sagittarius? Why is this here in the recent past? Some of you might have been dealing with a Virgo or an air sign. But I'm feeling someone pulled away because they needed to kind of figure out what was best for them. Nine of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you, um, if your person keeps pulling away from you or someone keeps pulling away from you. Um, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. They're really only more focused on their career, finances, Maybe their family, something like that, their health, their abundance. Um, but yeah, someone someone wanted like more independence. Someone might have asked, hey, I want to be single. Um, yeah, no, this person's definitely been keeping tabs on you. And I feel like you've been keeping tabs on them as well. All right, what's this page of coins world card crowning you in your mind? You know that something has got to end. Ten of Swords, that's definitely an ending. Empress, a lot of you, um, something about your mother, maybe mother's approval or a mother type figure. Maybe mother doesn't approve of somebody. I don't know. Yeah, Seven of Cups. You're like, and someone's telling you there's other fish in the sea. And that could be in regards to career as well. Nine of Swords, and you're like, I know, but I'm scared. I don't want to go out there. Yeah, so for a lot of you, um, you're scared to like get out there dating again, or you've been in a job for a long time. You're like, Oh my God, I can't even fathom writing a resume right now. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, you're just like, Oh my God, I'm going to do that again. Oh my God. I have to figure out dating again. Uh, you know what I mean? Like it's scary. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> it, it is a little bit scary out there. I'm not going to lie. Um, world card. Why is this crowning you? This is like, yeah, you're like, I want to be free. Ace of Wands is your power card too, Magician. You're saying, I want, I want Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, Ace of Wands, Magician, Judgment. I want to get out of this karma. Wheel of Fortune Lover's card. You want to explore your options. A lot of you want to play. You want to travel. If you've been in a relationship, you want to be single. If you've been tied to a job for a long time, you want to start traveling for work. You want to, you want to get very much out of this like him ho same thing, routine, Groundhog's Day vibe is what it feels like to you. They go, yeah. Spirit goes, yeah, for Sagittarius, it feels like Groundhog's Day to you. And you're like, I'm ready for something new. I want new energy, new karma, new whatever. Son, you just want to be happy. I get that. So in the near future, the Six of Pentacles is very healthy, happy, balanced, give and take, exchange with someone or in a situation. Um, probably finances are involved. Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Tower. A lot of you have been hanging on to this situation, this person, this job, this relationship because there's money ties, because there's finances involved. Understandable. Six of coins, near future. Temperance, that's you. Chariot, about to move on. Let's get one more. Future energy. 
Ace of Cups, Chariot, again, Cancer Energy. Some of you might be moving towards a Cancer, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. But yeah, a lot of you are just looking for new love, new cups, new options, new friends, new everything. <clears throat> What's this Ace of Wands? This is you saying yes to something. This is initiating a new beginning. This is feeling inspired and actually doing something about it. Inspired action. You know what I mean? Wow, we've come full circle. We have come full circle. Strength card, Eight of Cups again. Eight of Cups um, is your current energy about emotionally detaching and emotionally moving on. And that is a very strength card, Leo energy. That is a very difficult thing to acknowledge within yourself. And I hope you're giving yourself a round of applause. It is very hard to walk away from all of these Eight Cups. It's almost the ten. It's almost perfect. It's almost really good. Let's get rid of that word perfect. I'm going to take that back. Nothing's perfect. Queen of Wands, you're saying yes to you. Whatever this is, you go, I'm choosing me no matter what. And that's hard for some of y'all to do. It's hard for some of you to choose yourself here. What's this Ace of Wands for Sagittarius? Boom! Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords, Knight of Cups. You've definitely grown confidence around your throat chakra. A lot of you could be making money around King of Swords. Right, Some of you are going on an adventure and starting a business around writing. Um, I saw some of you are like literally write maybe lyrics, use your voice, singing, um, something like that for a lot of you. You are all about new opportunities, new beginnings, and you're using your voice. A lot of you have cleared throat chakra energy. Turquoise is really important for your throat, aka wear a turquoise necklace, blue or green. Um, very good for those people. Very, very good. Knight of Cups. You're so in love with this journey. You're so in love with this journey. What's the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius, please? I can't. Oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. You have the emperor and the devil. Look who's bossing up. You are. You are bossing up. I love this for you. Devil, you're large and in charge. Um, you're doing the good work. You're doing the good thing. There's no more kings and queens here. This is about emperor, empress energy. <clears throat> Some of you, <clears throat> excuse me, could be dealing with an Aries. There's that throat chakra clearing. See that? As we're talking about your throat chakra. A lot of you might need to, for a throat chakra clearing, might need to address something. This is going to be for a very specific group. You need to address something with an emperor, with a divine masculine, a father figure. And once you talk something out, it's going to clear your throat. You're going to feel a lot better. Double. Yeah, it's going to clear some kind of blockage. <laughs> I love this for you. What's this two of pentacles hidden from you? Wishy-washy energy. Um, one day someone wants to be in, one day they're out, that kind of energy. Yeah, four of wands could be um, a commitment that you're in, a marriage you're in, um, a relationship for a lot of you, hangman. Um, this person and or you are looking at this from a different angle. Two of cups, six of cups, wow. Ten of Wands. This is someone that you maybe um, have children with that you've been married to or are married to again. Um, the Six of Cups is definitely children and or soulmates. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, Ten of Wands star card though. Um, there's some kind of burden with this person. And I say person because Two of Cups, this is your soulmate. Four of Wands, your person. What's the burden? What's what's Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This is your person. Everything. Why do they go back and forth? Devil. Oh, they could have some toxic traits. They could be, um, one of the two of you here has some major commitment issues. 
Um, it, there's no diss here, but I'm gonna say that you're the one with commitment issues here because you're the one that's like, you know, I'm picking up for a lot of you, you've been in something for a long time, probably a relationship, and you're like, man, I do wanna explore the world. I wanna, I wanna, something about more fish in the sea, plenty of fish in the sea. Really healthy energy though. Really healthy energy on this hidden energy. Strong, again, water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe some of you, yeah, I was like, oh, that's what it is. A lot of you have a choice. And I go, what is that? Lovers came out. Some of you, two of pentacles, um, have been putting energy into two things, two people, okay? Um, and hidden energy, that's a secret. <laughs> if you're a cross watcher, partner's watching, whoopsie. Um, lover's card, you have a choice here. You have a choice, you always do and you always have. You have a choice. A lot of you have, are, are gonna invest in one or two people, like this person or that person, this thing or that thing, that job or that job. It's probably about people for most of you. All right, seven of swords, your hidden energy, I'm sorry, your hopes and fears. Eight of Pentacles with Judgment, Tower. Yeah, a lot of you, um, you're very much scared of... There's some, there's something with like the burden being on your shoulders. Like you don't want the burden on your shoulders anymore, okay? Sun card came out, Death card. There's The sun comes out when you let go of something. Also, we're in Scorpio energy, Scorpio season. And it, it, it is a time of endings, letting things go. Okay, so as you let something go, boom, the sun comes out. And that is a major, 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 major decision. Again, with the seven of swords clarifying this, there, there's, there's an energy of like, not everyone needs to know that maybe you're going through a breakup. Not everyone needs to know that you're transitioning jobs right now. Not everyone needs to know, but, 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 your business, whatever. All right, let's look at the moon outcome energy for Sagittarius. Ooh, ace of swords. So that's definitely whatever was hidden, whatever was confusing about the situation will not be anymore. This is a major truth, major clarification. Nine of cups, you're happy, you're doing this for you. Whatever this is about, you're doing this for you or you're doing this for, for you this time. Moon, outcome, Sagittarius, why is that here? The moon again. That's double hidden feelings. You have secret feelings about a person or a situation, and so do they. Ten of Pentacles. Why the double moon for Sagittarius? Let's get one more. Oh my God, we have to keep going. Tower, you didn't expect for this person to have secret feelings about you too. Hierophant this is a very traditional person, someone who maybe wants marriage. Uh, why is the tower? Wow. Paraffin came out, you guys. Yeah, basically, okay, I got it. Someone who I feel like you have secret feelings for has the exact same secret feelings for you. Tower, Hierophant, you didn't expect that at all. Nine of Cups is gonna put a happy little fit, smile on your little Sag cute face. Ace of Swords, it's gonna be very, very clear. Um, Hierophant um, is again high level commitment, marriage down the road, that kind of energy. King of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles, bottom of the deck with the Page of Cups. This is definitely a new beginning with you and you and maybe someone to make a, a plan for the long haul. Long haul plan, lifetime plan. I love this reading for you. Um, I know it's a little bit harsh talking about the karma stuff but honestly if we can learn proper karma i feel like it'll serve everybody the collective much better um if someone's done you know if someone's done you wrong i'm not saying that what they did was okay but the karma part of it is let the universe take care of their ass you don't need to okay and vice versa maybe someone wished something negative upon you and you never got the negative karma because it got interfered with because someone wished evil upon you. You know what I mean? That's karma. <laughs> I love y'all so much. That's your reading. We're gonna do pick a card. Anyone who wants to join us for the love reading or we connect with your other person, that's the first link in the description box below. And 
The Sagittarius that won the pick a card this time is Isabel Robbins. Isabel, you are my winner. Okay, so Sagittarius, if you want me to pick your card next time. Hi, Papa. Just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Um, leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you. Um, thank y'all so much for everything. I love y'all dearly. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. We've got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Isabel Robbins? Thank you so much for being a subscriber, by the way, Isabel. I super appreciate that. Justice, you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, something's about to be fair for you, world card. Something is about to be where you've been without something. It's about to be made even. You've kind of been maybe worried about finances, five of pentacles, you've been out in the cold. Maybe I'm hearing displaced from someone or from a situation that's coming to an end and karma is about to be served in this situation. Temperance, this is your card. You've been healing. You've been working on you, Four of Swords. You've been, um, yeah, healing from maybe some kind of loss. Isabel. Oh, okay, there's your reading. Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups, King of Cups. Someone's about to really turn it on and show you how they feel. Strong Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Five of Cups. Hierophant, Eight of Wands, Holy Shit, Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Empress. I only take five, but six came out. I'll take it. So I feel like you've been healing. Um, maybe you've been just feeling very alone. Um, even if you're in a relationship, you know, you can still feel alone, even if you're in a relationship. But whatever, I feel this energy of like, man, I've really been feeling alone. I'm not really sure if something's going to happen. Um, you've really been putting a lot of energy and focus into yourself, self-love, care, um, that kind of thing. Knight of Cups, King of Cups. Someone wants to take probably a relationship you, with you to the next level. Five of Cups, that's going to transform this connection. Um, Hierophant, Eight of Wands. It's going to go from like a relationship to marriage. Um, you might be getting engaged soon. Hierophant, Eight of Wands, definitely like a, a wedding announcement, an engagement announcement, something like that. You have been disappointed by this person or in this situation before, but I feel like someone's trying to make up for something here, okay? Um, Ace of Cups, bottom of the deck, new love, renewal of, of love with the Knight of Pentacles, something that's going to last um, for a long time. Lovers came out. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You've definitely been healing. Um, and I feel like you... I feel like you close some kind of cycle where you like didn't want any um you're being very picky with the people that you uh that you meet five of swords devil you've definitely come out of a codependent pattern is what i'm hearing yeah justice high priestess chariot so someone wants to come make things right with you. Strong air energy. Um, we have Libra and Gemini on your table here. So I feel like, yeah, someone wants to make things right. Basically an apology after an argument. Nine of Wands. You're not really interested in what this person, like, they're going to come to you. Um, your walls are going to be up. They're going to be like, I love you. I want a two of wands. I want a new, you know, let's redo this. Let's have a fresh clean slate, full card. You're my everything. Empress, two of pentacles. Um, there actually could be a mother figure for this person. Um, that's a little bit of a roadblock for you. Like this person listens to their mother way too much. Ugh. Seven of Cups on your King of Cups. Okay, Queen of Cups came out. This is a relationship with a victory card. I feel like you're going to look at all options here, but it looks like um, King and Queen of Cups is a soulmate connection. 
yeah this person three of pentacles looks like y'all are going to build or rebuild in this situation chariot pretty quickly why the five of cups here for isabel please ace of pentacles seven of pentacles you're very disappointed in how long something has taken this has taken a lot a long time to come together um but also i'm seeing at the same time an investment something that you wanted a seed that you planted a long time ago is finally coming to fruition five of wands four of cups mm. Why the five of wands on that? Hangman, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords. Yeah, okay, shit. So I'm actually picking up, like, if you were to pick this person's proposal, if you're going to choose to be with this person, for example, um, five of wands, they've had options in the past, and those options are going to be pissed the fuck off that you got chosen instead of them. Basically, you are dealing with a player who basically wants to be with you now, and if you say yes to this person, because they do want higher level commitment with you, just be ready for like exes and things like that to, I'm hearing haterade. Someone uses the word haterade <laughs> to be real angry with you. Yeah, Ace of Swords on the Hierophant, high level commitment, Chariot. Carafit, please. Oh my God. King of Wands. That's way too many. Way too many. Way too many. But this chariot showing up so much, your person might be a Cancer or you have a lot of Cancer in your chart. Queen of Swords, Star card. Yeah, I feel like there's a major announcement about um, you and this person coming together. Eight of Wands. Yep, Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Sun card. That's it, Devil, that's it. Exactly like I said. So you and someone are coming together. It's been some ups and downs here, but Four of Wands, this is Twin Flame, Marriage, Soulmate, Commitment, Union, Energy. Sun card is gonna make you really, really happy. Devil is here with the lovers. I feel like um, if this is the same person for you, you've come out of a karmic codependent pattern with this person and y'all are finally coming into a more healthy, balanced, give and take soulmate type energy again i also feel like you're resistant to this person's offer because they've been a little wishy-washy in the past that would be because they explored their options in the past so definitely again this is like your biggest thing i feel like you're going to choose this person it feels towards that way because you want this with this person um but again it comes with quite a price of like hater energy at the same time <laughs> um but you this is something that you already know Four of pentacles yeah this person wants more solid foundation with you or you met this person through work all right that's what i have for you if there's anyone um, else still here i love y'all i'll see you in the love reading or next time bye